What is up? Got a new knife review for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at this knife right here. Um, this is the Boker Trance. Uh, recently discontinued um, in the drop point variation. There's still the reverse Tonto that's very easy to find out there. Um, but this one is a little harder to find, but basically the knife is the same as the reverse Tonto version. Um, before we get onto the knife, let's get to some specs. Blade is 2 and 3 quarters inches of OS 8 steel. Um, the handle is three and a half inches closed and open it's six and a quarter inches. Um, it weighs 3.2 ounces, so um, pretty lightweight. Um, and this is a really, really nice uh, high value knife. You can find these for about um, 30 bucks online, um, 35 uh, on eBay and other sites. And uh, for that money, I do think it's worth it. Um, Boker Plus is known for making a lot of these high value knives and these Chalos Banos ones um, have been receiving rave reviews uh, for, for a while now. Um, let's go to the blade first. Um, you got that two and three quarters inches of OS 8 steel. And this stuff is full flat ground. So this stuff comes to a wicked edge. Um, out of the box from the factory was, is, is absolutely razor sharp. Um, actually I didn't get this um, from the factory. I bought this used, but um, basically in new condition. And, um, you know, it's it's a razor, razor sharp, that OS 8. Um, despite it not being the most expensive steel, I mean, it's definitely performing steel. And um, it's no slouch in that, uh, you know, in edge holding or anything, really. It's it's a good, solid, all-around steel. Um, you know, it's never going to get an S30B, but, you know, for the money, it's a very good steel. Um, there's you can see the finish on here is kind of like a dull. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's non-reflective. Uh, it's kind of like a satin finish, but like a bead blast satin. You can see the blade here. Um, it's kind of just like a. Actually, it's kind of more like a spear point than a drop point, in my opinion. Um, but since you do kind of hold the knife at an angle, it's more like a drop point. But um, you know. Take that how you will. I do like the blade shape. I do think it doesn't really have that much belly. Um, I think the reverse Tonto does look a little better, but, um, you know, in terms of performance, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, you can see here, I mean, it's a good size for EDC. Two and three quarter inches, though it may seem small, and it does have a capable sized handle. So, um, you know, the blade ratio to handle ratio is a little bit uh, low on the blade side, so. Um, you know, it's kind of like a little bit disproportionate. You can see here, you know, they could probably extend the blade a little bit, but, um, the handle's big enough that it's a capable EC blade. Going on to the handle, uh, we have a FRN scale here. Uh, it looks kind of like G10. Um, it's very similar to the design on the subcom with these sort of uh, indents. I'm not sure what the purpose of those are. I guess they kind of match your fingers, but they don't help the grip at all. Um, despite the G10 looking texture, it's not very grippy. Um, but there's decent ergonomics on here, so that's not too much of a deal. It's got a really funky handle shape, and um, I'm not sure if I can say it'd be hit or miss. I think it's pretty universal, but it's not the most comfortable fit for me personally. Um, you know, there's you can tell there's kind of a choil here, and you can put your thumb here, but uh, this this hump here kind of sticks into my hand, and the back of the knife just kind of has an awkward shape. Um, I just feel my hand is like glancing up against it, especially this bump here. That's that's the thing. Um, but overall, it's not a really a bad fit either. It's it's um relatively comfortable. It's it's a little thin too, so it's not the medius grip. There's some jimping up here. Um, a little bit on the handle and a little bit on the blade. It works fine. I mean, you're not going to be, uh, you know, moving your hand up onto the blade, which is a really cool feature on this knife in particular, um, because you do have this very large flipper to serve as a blade guard for you. Lockup is solid. It's just your standard frame lock. If we look at the other side, um, there's a few lightning holes here. I'm not sure how much weight that takes out, uh, you know, beats me. I mean, I don't understand why they put, it's like they put it in just to say they put it in because they put the four holes here, but if you can look in the, 
at the liner inside the knife on this side. This is not just pure FRM for the scale. It's um, with a steel liner inset. And um, if you look on, if you look at the inside steel scale, they didn't skeletonize that. So uh, it could be just as much a design element as it is, you know, practical. These holes here. Nice rounded shoulders. Um, fit and finish is very good on this knife for for the money. Um, couldn't really find too many like finishing errors. You know the the you know the drilling on the holes is a little bit sloppy, um, but you know for the money it's perfectly acceptable. You can see there's a, there's a few machining marks, but um, very solid job done by Boker on this one. Deployment is hit or miss. I it's kind of bad with the flipper. I'm very good with flippers usually, um, but this one like you have to do it just right and you have to have the wrist flake. So, um, I mean this is kind of tightened down a little bit just to you know see if I could get out. You know, with, with the more affordable knives you tend to see a little bit that the pivot screw will undo itself, uh, and that you know the blade will go a little bit towards the side and the lockup's a little sloppier. Um, so I tightened it up a bit to try to get rid of that, but now it doesn't flip as well. Um, partially because I think the blade is so light that it's kind of hard. You can see here. However, the thumb stud does work very well. It's very, very fast. I just messed that up, but, um, you know, just... You know, when I had it a little bit looser, it just fly out the handle, but I'm just testing um, certain um, pivot screw tightening downness. No play, up and down, left or right. Nice and centered. The clip does go um, for right hand users only, but it does go tip up and tip down. And for a clip, this is very good. It does go very deep in the pocket. Um, it hides the knife uh, very well. And um, to be honest, uh, with, with the clip there, um, it doesn't really look like you have a knife in your pocket. I, I don't know what that would be, but not really like a knife. And the lanyard holes here, you can see it's pretty small. I wouldn't put, I wouldn't be able to probably put anything through that, but um, it's there if you if you have to have it. Overall, though, um, the Boker Trance is a solid EDC choice. Um, very good ergos, uh, decent strength from the frame lock, um, and uh, you know, very nice grind, make it very good slicer. Um, you can use this a lot in food prep. This is not the most heavy duty knife. I mean, it's kind of thin too. Um, it's slim and though it's a little heavy, I guess, for the slimness. Um, it's a very solid performer. And uh, for the money, I do think it's very good. I think it's on par, if not even a little bit better than the Spider Co Tenacious and Persistence. And um, it, it's very good for the money. I mean, this is kind of a little bit of a sleeper in the knife world. Uh, when you compare it to some of the other Chalos Banyos designs, like the Warcom and the Subcom. Um, but despite. You know, having less press, it's no less good, and um, I would advise it for basically anybody who's looking for an affordable EDC blade. And in that role, it's very good. Um, this is not the same as a you know Cold Steel American Lawman or like a Rick Hinder XM18. It's not going to be um, you know built up for the most difficult tasks, mainly mainly because of the thin blade steel. You know, the kind of thinner frame lock, but. Um, you know, it's really all good on this knife. Uh, very good fit and finish, very good um, all around, and just a solid performer. Uh, good job, Boker, and um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Got more coming later. Peace. Bye.